Today is April Fool's Day, April 1st, and I thought that I would read a little bit about the holiday from my copy of A Treasury of American Superstitions by Claudia Delee. What's my favorite thing about this book is that in its attempt to present um, rationalized information about the things that uh, Americans have been superstitious about, it actually provides more information about mystical traditions and histories from ancient peoples. So, here we go. April Fool Superstitions. The quote from the beginning of the section here says, one fool exposed makes pastime for the rest. And that is from Poor Robin's Calendar for 1728. Women in America and England who are told that their slips are showing or that there is a run in their stocking grin as graciously as they can when they hear the derisive cry of April Fool. However, few, if any, realize how ancient this saying is and that it deals with superstitious beliefs which interpreted symbolically the mysteries of nature. Ancient peoples invented superstitious beliefs and customs around events such as their New Year, a spring holiday when mythical beings played hide and seek, and in imitation of nature with the emotion of these men. No one knows exactly the origin of this superstitious saying. Many traces in the folklore of race, races and nations couple it with the mythology of the Hindu and Romans and other ancients, when fears were associated with the imaginary doings of gods and goddesses in charge of the new year, which varied somewhat in different countries. Among the Romans, it was about March 25th, and the festivities ended about April 1. In Roman mythology, there's a legend that indicates that April Fool's Day may be a relic of the festival of Cerealia, held at the beginning of April. The tale comes from the Greek and relates that Prosperina, or Persephone, was sorting in the Elysian meadows and had just filled her lap with daffodils when Pluto carried her off to the lower world, where he made her his wife. Her mother, Demeter, searched for her disconsolately through long wanderings. In her anger and despair, she made the earth barren until it was arranged that Persephone could spend two-thirds of the year with her. Ceres was the Roman name for Demeter, and it is poetically said that Ceres heard the echo of her daughter's screams and went in search of the voice, but her search was a fool's errand, since all she found was the echo of a scream. In India, a festival corresponding to the Roman festival of Cerulea and known as the Huli festival occurs on March 31st. It has been an immemorial custom to celebrate this occasion by playing tricks on others, and on the last day of the festivities, which are dedicated to the vernal equinox, people for generations have amused themselves by sending their friends on foolish and fruitless errands. Someone's imagination has connected April Fool's Day with Noah's mistake in sending out the first dove before the waters had abated. According to Hebrew legend, this occurred on the first day of the old Hebrew month that corresponds to our April. There are some persons who explain April Fool as related to the uncertainty of the weather in April. Another explanation is related to the mockery trial of Christ, the Redeemer, when he was sent hither and thither, or as they say, from Annas to Caphias, from Caphias to Pilat, and from Pilat to Herod, and from Herod back to Pilat, the crucifixion having taken place about April 1. So I had no idea that April Fools had been celebrated since 1728 or actually um, centuries and centuries before that. But um, yeah, pretty fascinating stuff. Peace.